I mean, he's already in losers. He's got to pull out the big guns at this yeah, point. Got to pull out the big guns if he wants to get this uh, free win without having to do this PR or like overly top high PR right. today for this remote today. But I mean, done. this at this tournament, K9 was the only PR member in attendance. True. Yeah. So this was a very bottom heavy uh, tournament. Exactly. So this is either uh, K9 chance to end up getting a get a, get a free win at one K9 fights or someone to rise up himself, but. Here we go, Simon. A wolf on S P. We're gonna ready to see K9. Let's grab it. Gets a nice turnaround grab. Tries to follow it up with a board tail, but unfortunately grabs the ledge before he can throw it out. Honestly, I love that ledge trap situation for Minor Dude. Tried getting the roll read. Unfortunately, the bomb will cover the normal get up too. And the quick down smash covers Fast. the jump from ledge. Yeah. Fast down smash. Samus. I don't know too much uh, about like this matchup in general, but I have played against a lot of Samuses. Have you seen what they've been doing with Japan? There's a lot of like Samus players out there as well. I feel like Samus is, is probably one of the most underrated characters in competitive play because all you see online is the four glory. I'm gonna throw missiles and charge shots, and the second you try to jump, I'm gonna spare you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. it's one. Of, and it, online, it's like, what are you gonna do? Because there's so much lag online that you can't really do anything about it. You try to approach them on the ground. Oh, it's a grab. You try to approach them in the air. It's a four there. Yeah. But when you actually see a Samus like playing in real time, like on land, you know, you find out that like, yeah, they have oh, a lot more clever tricks up their sleeve. Exactly, clever tricks. And even with the down air off the stage, the reverse edge guard coming from Rhino now. Rhino getting forward smash. Ooh, K9's getting thirsty. He wants this. He wants this. He's got that. I mean, this is how you beat K9. You just throw him in the blender. You know, you take the lead and you just sap all hopes of victory from his claws. Exactly. Getting him with a couple more up airs. This is looking rough for my boy. Gets him with Becca though. I know playing against Samus is like neutral. It's so taxing. So something we're gonna have to go ahead and adapt to. Trying to get him with the up smash. Doesn't land it, but still keeping up the stage control. Gets him with the forward still. Yeah, it, it's one of those things where the forward tail. He got it twice. He got it twice, and the second hit did, did not connect. Exactly. Ooh, tries to get the up smash again. Cannot find the stock yet right now. So hitting with the forward tilt. Right, I'm trying to get as much percent as possible on him, but it's hit with up tilt, still living this one. Oh, the up air is going to catch, yeah. yeah. Uh, bad, bad, I'm trying to like charge her, like, hold that for that long. Yeah, you know, that, I guess that was kind of like a like, call out for him, just saying, you're not going to hit me here. I mean, that's how you got to beat Samus. You got to just be right underneath her. You can't let her throw out a bomb to just change up her momentum. Exactly, yeah. Good on K9 and keep that momentum, but Rhino. Not letting him let's trap him. Oh, where when I say that? Oh, he tried oh, going he for the double dunk, too. but unfortunately, gonna send him too far low, so the second dare did not connect. And K9, you know, going for those big plays, trying to end it before he gets upset, it, but it, it's on Rhino Dude at this point because he has the percent lead, he has the kill options, but I feel like both players yeah, are just throwing out moves, like hoping it light kills. Spaghetti because honestly, uh, I think K9 had a couple ways to like finish it there, but he didn't end up like doing it. So, oh my goodness. Both, both players, yeah, both yeah. players and are just that throwing out attacks. I know. And, you know <laughs> it was one of those things where K9 was looking for the roll read, so it's out of smash. You know, yeah. Rhino Dude was hoping he'd stay in shield, but exactly. it's one of those things when you throw out an attack, you leave yourself to being open if it whiffs. Mm -hmm. And you got to understand that the risk reward, you know, like if he had gone to grab, like he wouldn't have thrown him off stage, but it wouldn't have killed, you know? Yeah. What's important and at the end of the day is that you're living, right? Right. Thomas. Like Mingo always said, DI wins games. Yeah, will win you the game. But now K9 and Rhino both picking. What stage did they pick? I didn't see. They picked Town, yeah. Ooh, looks like Town. Looking like Town. Now this is a uh, bigger stage for Rhino. Now he can maybe move around a little more. Or space himself out. The way to be able to get himself to that neutral spot that he wants to be in and get the wolf. Here we go. Quick up beat to get Wolf off his back. But yet again, there is a combo right there and he's off stage. Ooh, Ooh try jab real quick yeah. and then fall back down. You see Samus just go for that a lot, especially because the second jab doesn't connect, and apparently it's a feature that it doesn't connect. A feature? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in, in, in the tip, it says, you know what? You can jab with Samus, <laughs> but the second hit won't always connect, and that's on purpose. You're lying. <laughs> that's pretty funny. So that was a developer intended. Uh, like, some, some characters just don't work in this game, right? right. <laughs> well, I mean, like I feel like 
what you see instead is that you see the jab, and you either go for the second jab and condition them to the shield so that you can go for the grab. Uh huh. So that's pretty good, though. I mean, it's uh, another way to use your mix up. Samus players right. being very innovative from what they have to do. At the end of the day, that down tilt super fast comes out. I don't remember the frame data, but I remember it was like one of the best. Gets it with up smash, though. 89% on our man Wolf and 0 on Samus and Dogs. Here we go, just trying to bait him to approach uh, safely, and there we go. Oh my god, like I said earlier, jab two does not connect. You gotta mix it up. You exactly what we talked about. Here. Trying to read the jump out of the air, but even so, just hold shield and just up the button. Oh, he's off stage. I'm surprised K9 didn't try to go for the dare. Yeah, because he was really low there, and not like up B is like in too much to get trade with it. So. You know what, it may not have been worth it just because he was only at 40, so I'm pretty sure Adair wouldn't have straight up killed. That's true. And he, I feel like he's getting a lot more uh, just mildly dropped in this, yeah, yeah. of just staying this way. Because now he's at 139, he's at gets him with a back air as well. He's going to be 3-1 for K9. And again, I feel like K9 has finally you know, found his pacing for this matchup. You know? Exactly. Like he had to push here on Town City. He's not letting him do anything like once he gets over him to the ledge. He's trying to corner him, keep him there. And he's looking for some fancy stuff as well, too, with Town. There we go. Four tail get him off, gets a fair. Ooh, Ooh, he waited for that. That was pretty patient. I would have grabbed after, though. Yeah. I, I I'm surprised he didn't go for grab because you know that. I'm pretty sure that's true. Yeah, the they... position as well, too. Yeah. Like, you know, he's gonna get in there with a charge drop. But Josh has some bombs on him. Third odds off stage, now he's on the ledge. Doesn't, you know, manages to safely retreat to the platform. Again, another good pick for Town City is just like having that platform to retreat to and you're getting heavy ledge trap characters. Oh man, it can be a blessing. Oh, yeah. I know. Like, that can a lot too. Like, you can't be too, too much when the platform's over down the side. You just want to go that far. Right. And you saw him use the up air to kind of shark underneath the platform to, you know, uh -huh. get under Wolf's uh, ledge trap in there. Right. Four tail. Yeah. Off stage, he has on the platform. Ooh, he went for it all. Yeah. You need to go for something spicy like that when you're like, down, yeah. down in stock. So. I mean, it worked the first time, but I it feel did. like K9 was like, okay, I saw that trick once. I know not to overextend the second time. I'm not going to play against it. Uh, top player mentality going for K9 this time around. Ooh, catching him with up smash. Out of shield and hitting him with the up air afterwards. You know, just want to juggle that floaty. Every single time, K9 is going up. Oh, lot. That's what I was saying earlier. You know, when you're having Samus, uh, the best place to be, Samus is like right underneath her, so that she can't bomb into a different direction. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So that you way know? you can always, especially if your upper has a lot of uh, or a pretty big hitbox like that. You know, like characters with like really good upper. I'm thinking like Cloud upper, Palutena upper, even Wolf upper. Like something that hits quick and that you can chase underneath them with makes it so hard for Samus to land. Especially yeah. because she's so floaty too. Yeah, she can't get down. There's even there's only so many options you have to get down in this game, but uh, Rhino bringing it to Battlefield this time, maybe a change of pace. Uh, middle platform might be a little better. I'm not sure if it's a good choice or if it's juggles. But either way, maybe he can do it to him himself. Hitting him with a board and there's spring. Gets him with an up air. Another board and the charge shot. Here we go, dropping it. Oh! Oh, does he have a jump? He has a jump, but it doesn't matter. He gets a charge shot. No, another yeah. one. Oh, there you go. Yet again, yeah, he, K9 expended his air dodge, and that pretty much sealed his fate, because once you expend your air dodge, you can't air dodge again, and so that second charge shot was guaranteed. Exactly. Rhino, 82%. What did my, uh, my noise You good? Can you hear me? I can hear you, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, Javi. Javi, can you check the, the sound? Yeah, I, lo I lost the uh, sound. You lost sound. So we for the game, yeah, we gave it. We got it earlier. We had it, I was here for the game. Oh, oh the, the speakers. Really? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Either way, hit him with a charge shot. He was um, gonna get him at 132% so far, trying to keep him in the juggle. And then he had a shield. Ooh, there's Set. a dare and comes um, K9's ledge trap situation. And there's the double jump, so can he get the dare? No, oh, he yeah, does he not. Rhino dude opting for the early upbeat to avoid that. Oh no, now we have K9 in a bad position. Let's see if we can 
to get back on safely. Ooh, there you go. I like the B reverse attempt. Yeah. Oh, he's going to break that one out on the Kind of hard to come down. Let's see the fast faller that way. Um, as long as you can uh, play it correctly, if you position yourself in the correct place, you can always make that fast faller. Fast faller that way. Going really bold with these forward smash reads, and you know, a single one hasn't landed yet. But it's one of those things where, like, if you condition your opponent, be like, hey, I'm going to throw a forward smash out here. And then you condition them, be like, okay, I'm going to hold shield, I'm going to wait. Then you can just go in for it and mix up for the grab or whatever. With a and that's, shot the back throw. And that's what we were talking about earlier, going for the grab after the jab. Exactly. That's what I was expecting. You go for, but it's with a down smash after the spot dodge. You see a percent on K9. Can he end up pulling this out of 3 0, or will Rhino get another chance of life? I'm not surprised that Rhino did couldn't punish that. You know, he got the parry, and he went for forward smash, and forward smash just wasn't quick enough, I guess. Exactly. Oh, yeah. gets him on the ledge. Held it too long, and vulnerability basically gone. K9 trying to get his sound good again. This sound is so important. Yeah, you know? I know. That's what I was thinking, too, because, like, having those, those sound cues and just knowing exactly, like, if you're not... If you don't have the sound and you can hear everything else around you, your head's like not in the game for right. the most part. It's a part of like just immersing yourself in the game when you're playing as competitive. Oh, yeah. So Yeah, you can see K9 trying yeah. to get the sound going. Avi, I think I think too. it's time to to sub out the speaker system. <laughs> Cuz clearly it, it cut out during my set with K9. K9's really? just been, yeah, it, Is that it, what happened? It, it happened, yeah, during my game one with K9, it cut out. Uh huh. Can I be very unlucky with the sound today? Yeah. Oh, can you hear the game a little better now this time? There's a different speaker now. There's a different speaker, so. Oh. Yep. You're good, you're good. Stop the battle. <laughs> so, how long is the battery of life on that supposed to last? It's supposed to last like six, seven hours. Six, seven hours, well. Got him. When you bought, you bought off the, oh, you bought uh, off the gear. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so so next, usually next time, we'll have it fully charged so that we do not have any problems in the future. Exactly. And now we are having K9 and Rhino both off the stage here on PS2 after you ran it back. Hitting him with double dash attack. Where are you going to go this time, Rhino? Ooh, hits him with a laser while he's trying to tether on. Catches the roll with the down smash. Exactly. He's off stage again, and he's back off stage and gets back to center stage trying to no, uh, anti-air V9 at this point, but Rhino hitting him with a couple up airs as well too into a down throw. Can you make it come out of this one? This is the back air barely. But even so, does not do the neutral get up. He's just throwing back a couple charge shots, but and you can feel the aggression coming from him this time around. Like he's not messing around. I feel like that's how you got to play against him. You can't give Stamina space. Yeah, when they no when he gets Stamina yeah. space, she charges her charge shot and. You know, it's simple disastrous if you get hit by a heavy charge. It's terrifying playing against that character. Ooh, Ooh. and lands with that old fifth deck though from Rhino. Doesn't get cheesed by the side beat. I mean, if that was sweet spot, that would have sent her straight down. Oh, straight, but, yeah, it was a story, but, you know, luckily manages to tech it for the situation where it didn't. And yeah, just barely escaping with her life right there. He reads the rolling, but did a little early. That's a, a bit of a slow character. Both drops down for it too. Does not live that one, but I say we're yeah, he, he has a whole stop leak, so. Yeah, gets him with a board air again. That neutral to take play against him, but instead he falls down with an aerial. All these air dodges, and K9's just gonna capitalize on that, just juggling even more, but gets the grab, throws him off stage, and no aggressive forward air just to get him off the ledge. Exactly, just throwing himself back into the stage himself, saying, I'm not gonna stay on this ledge. And you can feel K9 just searching for that one kill option off stage just to end the set. No, he doesn't want to give Brian to do any more better than he's already lost one game. He can't afford to bring it to a game five. Wants, he does not want to play a game against a character like this, especially long within the set, so that he doesn't like you know, adapt to him either. Right. Doesn't hit him with a dark shot, coming down, but does not land it. I don't know, 114, but gets the parry to the fourth though. What can he do off of this? Goes for the fourth, so it's expected. Oh, oh no, he went super low, deep, low, but, but <laughs> the up while he's down there. Oh Yo. my god.
You know what? I thought K9 I'll threw away that. He totally threw away that stock. Yeah. I feel like, okay, he went for the back air. Oh, he whiffed it, so he he's gonna die. Yeah. But luckily, he manages to reverse the up B and get it so that.